What's up, y'all? Um, today I was feeling like making some regular fried rice. I'm not putting only meat I'm putting in it is turkey bacon, and that's just to give it a little flavor. But I'm making some fried rice. And that's what we're gonna have for dinner. In this semi wok, I got some canola oil. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna saute this turkey bacon, get it a little crispy. I'm gonna get it crispy pretty much, but I'm gonna get it on with your pass up. There you go ahead on with your pass up. All right, so you see the bacon is crispy. I'm gonna take it out of the uh, wok. Take it out and hold, put it to the side. So now we're gonna uh, we're gonna add in the crushed garlic and, the, and saute that until it's slightly brown. And also we're gonna add in the crushed ginger, fresh ginger that I've grated. Not too long, you don't want the, it to burn or anything. So I'm gonna do this just for a quick second. And put it with your bacon. So you wanna take it out, put it with the bacon. This is just my process. You don't have to necessarily do this if you don't feel like it. But now, I need a little bit more oil to the pan, so I got this canola oil. Put a little bit of it in there. And now I got my diced carrots and onions. I'm gonna go ahead and saute these off. We're about there to how tender I want the veggies to be. The, car the carrots are actually taking longer than the onions. I'm gonna just add, start adding the other ingredients. In goes the bacon. Stir it up, stir it, hey. Stir it, stir it up, stir it. Stir it, stir it up, stir it. So yeah, as you see, got the bacon going on in here. I'm gonna turn the heat down. I want these carrots to cook down a little bit. I don't really care for carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and put the ginger and the garlic that we browned back inside of here. And I already cooked off this rice ahead of time. It's just long grain white rice. Uh, I made a bunch if you want to eat. So, actually, this is different from making shrimp fried rice because usually you keep all the ingredients out, put the rice back in, make a mound, put your eggs in, but they don't want to eat eggs in the, here in the rice. They don't want eggs in there, so I'm going to leave eggs out completely and just do it like this. So, I'm gonna put the rice in there. I'm gonna stir it up, then I'm gonna start adding the wet ingredients, basically. First, I'm gonna add some fish sauce. You gotta be careful with fish sauce. You don't want to put too much. Okay, so I guess I gotta drip it like this. So I'm about to put a, an ounce and a half in here by eye. Give it a stir. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha. Woo, woo. This the this the new hot sauce for real for real. Well to the latecomers. No, no shade. 
that that's enough that's probably yeah that's enough I mean as you see y'all didn't see me put no salt in this recipe and it's because I'm gonna be adding soy the fish sauce actually you know take mix up for that salt and then the soy sauce would definitely make up for the salt which I'm about to put in here now so I got your la toy soy sauce <laughs> I'm gonna put, I like soy sauce, so I'm gonna do it to taste. Alright, so I should put it in the mouth. And I love making rice at home because they don't ever send you the packets, like as, as much as you need. Why not make it at home and you can get as much soy sauce in the rice while you cook it so that you don't even need no packet at the end, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Very simple.